Hello. I just wanted to touch base with you all and talk to you a little bit about training during hardship. Um, currently, when this is being filmed, we're in the middle of a pandemic. This is unprecedented precedented, um, worldwide. It's affecting everyone everywhere. Um, studios are closed. Businesses are closed. People are losing their jobs. So much going on right now in the world. Um, and that's not even getting into, you know, whatever other issue, issues you might be having even before this all started. Um, health issues, relationship issues, life issues, so many things. But one of the things I want to talk about specifically with this pandemic right now and training during this time, but this also applies, like I said, to any other hardship. Um, it could be, you know, a loss of a loved one. It could be a, a change in job status, um, health issues, so many things. But one of the things that I noticed, and this is me just being totally honest with you, for me, when this whole thing started, studios were shut down, my training space was closed, um, interactions with students that I'd worked with for so many months and years um, were suddenly, you know, different. Um, yes, some virtual classes, but not the same as seeing those same students every day in your class and be able to watch them progress and grow. Um, I went through a mourning process. So for the first couple weeks, in some ways, you know, it, it, it felt like a loss. It, it was a loss. And it was very hard for me to motivate myself to train. And I'm a very uh, self, let's see, very organized person in my training. Like I put it on my calendar, I get it done. Um, and I'm always very consistent, usually. So for me to have a time that was I just didn't feel like training. It was very hard for me to motivate. And at first there was this feeling of guilt of, you know, something's wrong with me, what's going on. And then to realize that it was a morning process. So I think we all go through that. Um, I've been through that multiple times in my life when I've had injuries, um, you know, relationship things, so many things. So this is where I just wanted to take a moment and tell you it's okay to mourn. Okay. Those things happen in our life. Um, there's a time for everything. Okay, season for everything under the sun. So if during this pandemic, maybe you're not feeling motivated to train, maybe you're seeing all of your friends on social media, learning handstands and working on their splits and making all kinds of progress and you're beating yourself up over it, don't, okay? We all go through things at our own pace. Um, we all learn at our own pace. We all work through mental, emotional, physical things at our own pace. So go at your own pace. Give yourself permission to work through that process at whatever rate your body needs to. Something else too, a lot of you probably watching this are also aerialists, pole people, um, train pretty hard people, <laughs> but I don't know about you all. Sometimes I'm not very good at giving myself breaks in my training. So look at it this way as this is great. Your body needs a break sometimes to rest and repair. So taking this break Look at it as a good thing. Maybe it wasn't voluntary. Maybe it's not your favorite thing, but sometimes things happen for a reason and you might have never taken that break on purpose. So, you know, this is, you know, karma, life, world, whatever higher power you believe in telling you that you need to take a break. Um, something else to consider in all of this stress has a amazing effect on our bodies. And especially I think that much more when it's a low line and we don't necessarily see it blaringly in our faces. Um, you know, when you have a, you know, whether it's a school project or a work project and you feel a deadline coming up, oftentimes we're much more cognizant of the stress. The current state of a lot of things right now, because of the uncertainty, maybe you still have a very secure job and that's fantastic, but because there's so much uncertainty out there, I bet it's still in the back of your mind, okay? So don't underestimate the power of stress and how much impact that has on your sleep patterns, um, your mobility, your, you know, even just your overall happiness and so many things. So I would say just take a moment to kind of address that and think of, you know, is there some stress that I'm not recognizing in my life that's having an impact? And maybe that's why you're kind of struggling to find your training time, struggling to find some motivation, or maybe your body's just feeling more achy than normal. And stress will definitely do that too. Okay. So take into account stress, take time to mourn. And when you are ready to get back to training, and like I said, right now I'm talking specifically about this pandemic that's going on, but this applies to life events of all kinds. Okay. Um, take that time. And then when you think, you know what, I might be ready to try this, make a commitment to yourself. It doesn't have to be a, I'm going all in, I'm jumping in both feet, but just of, you know, 
I'm ready to start taking care of myself in this way, mentally, physically. I've taken care of this phase, which was giving yourself that rest time, that time to grieve, that time to mourn, whatever it was, that time to to think and assess your stress and your current status and whatever that meant to you. Um, But when you are ready to train again, put it on your calendar and think of it as now I'm taking personal time for myself. And in the beginning for me, when I first started getting back into training after all of these changes, at first I put it on my calendar and it would pop up on my reminder on my phone of, you know, it's time for you to do you know, your handstand training. I was like, Ugh, uh, I don't want to. Um, but I had a list of things that I was going to do. So go on your calendar, maybe start with just two workouts a week. It might be a stretching one. It might be handstands. It might be, you know, just some core things, some pull-ups, some push-ups. It could just be, you know, 20 push-ups and 20 squats and that's it. But put it on your calendar to schedule time. Okay. Whatever time of day you think works best for you. If you want to make it, you know, first thing in the morning so that you won't find excuses to pass it up. If you'd rather have it in the evening, cause you're more of an evening training person, whatever you think your ideal time to be active is, And write yourself a list either on that calendar spot or somewhere else of what activities you're going to do. It could be, I'm going to do, you know, 10 tuck up handstands and 10 kick up handstands and, you know, five of these press up drills, whatever it is, make a list. Okay. Don't make a huge demand on yourself because you're easing back into it. Okay. So give yourself something that when you look at the list, you're like, man, okay, I have to do that in like maybe 20 minutes. I can get that done. Okay. And just start working through your list. Um, for me, like one of my early workouts, um, that I, that I started doing was, you know, with a pull-up bar hanging in my doorway and some little baby straps. And the frustrating thing was, is I was not getting my regular straps trained time. And of course, then we start beating ourselves up of, you know, I'm losing strength and I'm losing that progress that I worked so hard on, you know, all those things. So when I first started doing the workout, it was, yeah, this isn't what I want it to be. And yet at the same time, by the time I finished that minimum, you know, checklist that I had, I was motivated to do a second round, okay? Maybe you will be motivated to do a second round, maybe you won't, and both are okay. If you finish that first round and you're like, didn't feel like doing it, but I did it, congratulate yourself for showing up for yourself. That's awesome, okay? Um, If you do that first round and you're like, you know what, I feel better, I'm so glad I did that and I wanna do a second round, that's awesome too, okay? So take your time to grieve. When you're ready to come out of that process and start training again, make an appointment with yourself, okay? Make a commitment to yourself because that's self-care. Taking time to grieve is sometimes self-care. Taking time to, you know, give your time to heal, give yourself time to heal, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, is self-care. Taking time to train is also self-care. I don't know about all of you, but to me, being active is my best way to manage stress. When I'm not training on a regular basis, I get very stressed. Um, Molehills become mountains. (laughs) Um, But I find oftentimes if I take time to train, by the end of it, my head is clear. I feel so much calmer. Um, Just life looks much better and not so intimidating, not so daunting, not so scary sometimes. Okay? So... Take your time, however much time you need. When you're ready, make an appointment with yourself. Put it on your calendar. If you're a visual person in front of you, if you want to write it on a paper calendar, if you want to write it on a whiteboard, if it's a post-it on your fridge, if it's a notification on your phone, whatever it is, make that appointment. It could be with someone else. You could, you know call up a training buddy and say, you know what, we're gonna do a virtual training session on this date. You know, will you help me stay accountable? If that's what you need, find a training buddy. And commit to yourself to do that. Like I said, start small. Start with 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be a two-hour session. Start with 15 minutes. I'd rather you schedule 15 minutes. You get to the end of 15, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to stop. Then for you to say two hours, and when that timer goes off and you say two hours and you look at it, and you're like, ugh. Versus you're much more likely to look at that 15-minute appointment and be like, okay, I don't feel like doing it, but I can do 15 minutes, okay? Not even the length of an entire show. <laughs> and you can get back to your show afterwards. So, take the time to get back into it. Hopefully this kind of gives you some encouragement. I know oftentimes when we're going through times like this, we feel like we're the only ones. Okay. Like I said, I think so many people, you see these challenges on Instagram and some people are like, you know, talking about how amazing their flexibility has been and this and that, they're getting all this time to train. And that is awesome. And I'm so happy for all of those people. Okay. Everyone deals with things in their own way. Don't compare yourself to the person next to you. Start from today. Look at where you want to be tomorrow and just go one day at a time. Okay, so you got this. Take care of yourself. Give yourself a little pat in the back. You're doing great. Work with where you're at one day at a time.
okay? We're all just doing the best we can with the situation that we are in, okay? So it's a whole new game. Don't compare it to the game that it was two months ago. Different game. Look at where you're at right now and go from there. So hopefully this is encouraging my droning on. Um, if you have any questions, you know, please feel free to send those my way. Um, I'd love to hear how your training goes. What are you doing for your training? What things? Like, what's your commitment for this upcoming week? Or maybe you're not ready for that this upcoming week. Maybe watching this actually made you realize that, oh my gosh, I am stressed. And I sat down and wrote it out and I had a good cry and, oh, I feel so much better. Wherever you are at, take time to do that. Like I said, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to share, you know, where you're at with you. Um, do a happy dance if you've made some self-discoveries. Do a happy dance if, you know, you're ready to train again and you made it happen this week, even in your PJs. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I train in my underwear at home all the time. <laughs> Don't feel like getting dressed. No reason. So get out there and do it, whether that's self-care, time to think, self-care, time to train, wherever it's at.